So we are just days away from the end of Season 6 and the beginning of Season 7, and because of that, I'm going to be going ahead and giving away the Season 7 Battle Pass to a lucky subscriber of mine. So if you guys would like to get this Season 7 Battle Pass for absolutely free, let me know in the comment section below. While you guys are at it, be sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you guys never miss a future video here on my channel. What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Season 7 Battle Pass here in Fortnite. Of course, today we're actually going to be taking a much closer look at the Tier 100 skin alongside some additional leaked skins and other leaked rewards that we should expect to receive as we go about progressing through through the Season 7 Battle Pass. So of course, today's video is just jam-packed full of information and I'm so excited to go ahead and get started with the video. So to go ahead and start things off, for those of you who don't know, earlier this morning, we actually received our very first official teaser image from Fortnite regarding Season 7. So this is the teaser that was posted over on Twitter a couple of hours ago and as you guys can see it says Fortnite Season 7 a bitter ice spreads three days to Season 7. Of course within this image you guys can very clearly see that there definitely appears to be some sort of ice themed character in the very center. Obviously he appears to have an ice crown or some ice horns sticking from the top of his head. He's got some eyes at the very top and in my personal opinion this definitely appears to be some sort of crazy ice king, maybe an ice monster, or some sort of ice themed creature. On top of that, if we were to go ahead and zoom in just a little bit on this image, we can actually see what appears to be someone skiing or snowboarding down an ice mountain. So because of this teaser, it pretty much just confirms a lot of the community's suspicion that a snow themed location or some sort of icy new theme is expected to be coming to Season 7 of Fortnite, especially in regard to the Season 7 Battle Pass skins. Now, with this teaser image, I'm pretty confident that the ice character that can be seen in the very front will most likely be one of our many Season 7 Battle Pass skins, and the reason why I'm pretty confident about that is because back when Season 5 first started to be teased to us, Fortnite had posted over on Twitter a teaser image of what appeared at the time to be a skin of the Season 5 Battle Pass. When the Season 5 Battle Pass came out, we now knew that that skin was in fact the Drift. Of course, this actually appeared to have the final unlockable style of the Drift, which you truly did not actually unlock until upwards of about a level 70, maybe even level 80. Moving on to Season 6. When Season 6 was about to be released and Fortnite had started to tease some of those Battle Pass skins, they had done the exact same thing by posting teasers over on Twitter, including skins like DJ Yonder and The Calamity, and of course, DJ Yonder was a skin that you guys unlocked at Tier 1, as was The Calamity, and you didn't even actually unlock the final form of the Calamity until upwards of about a level 70, maybe even a level 80. So because of that, it actually makes a ton of sense that the character that can be seen within the Season 7 teaser image, that giant ice creature or ice character, will most likely be one of our many Season 7 Battle Pass skins included in the Season 7 Battle Pass. Now it could either be the Tier 1 skin, and it could also very well be the Tier 100 skin. Now, as you guys can see on screen right now, this is a super awesome concept image of what that tier 100 skin may potentially look like. This is a super awesome teaser image that was created by a good buddy of mine known as I'm Roberts Z1. And of course, this looks extremely similar to that Fortnite teaser image that we saw posted on Twitter earlier today. I do think the resemblance is pretty crazy, and because of that, it honestly makes a ton of sense in my mind for the ice character that was shown in that season 7 teaser image to potentially be the tier 100 skin of the season 7 battle pass. Now, in addition to the previous season teasers depicting upcoming Battle Pass skins, it definitely makes a ton of sense for the Season 7 Tier 100 skin to actually be an ice creature or an ice character themed skin due to the fact that Season 7 will most definitely have some sort of significant map alteration or a map change. What I mean by that is we will most definitely see some sort of icy location or potentially a brand new snow biome added to the Fortnite map. Now, the reason why we know this is because back in Season 
Season 5, we received a pretty monumental map change. This obviously introduced a giant and new biome being Paradise Palms and really just that, that giant desert biome in the bottom right hand corner of the map. When Season 6 rolled around, I think a ton of people were under the assumption that Season 6 was going to bring a snowy or an icy biome. As we all know, that really didn't turn out to be true and because of that, everyone has their sights set on Season 7 most definitely introducing some sort of snowy location. Now, not only do people want a snow location to come to the map, but it's almost confirmed that a snowy location is expected to be coming to Fortnite. This is because in the bottom left hand corner of the map, we can obviously see that snowstorm, that ice storm, or that blizzard forming on the outskirts. On top of that, within the Fortnite game files, we can actually see some strings of text confirming that a snow location or some sort of snowy biome will be coming to the map. Not only that, Donald Mustard, who's one of the creative developers over at Fortnite Battle Royale, recently updated or changed his Twitter bio. As you guys can see, he's recently altered his location to the iceberg. What he's technically referring to is that snowstorm or that blizzard, which has actually appeared to be an iceberg forming outside of the Fortnite map. So Donald Mustard has changed his Twitter location to the iceberg, and this is very interesting because this isn't the first time where he's done this. So what I mean by that is, back before the release of Season 5, he had also changed his location to something to have to do with a desert. Of course, as I previously mentioned, Season 5 introduced Paradise Palms and that giant desert biome to the Fortnite map, so the fact that Donald Mustard now has the iceberg in his Twitter bio location definitely confirms that we will most likely be getting a snowy biome and a snowy location in the Season 7 map. Now, I don't know about you guys, but seeing all of these teasers leading up to the release of Season 7, it definitely makes me super excited, and the fact that we actually received our very first teaser image earlier today that actually depicts one of our many Battle Pass skins definitely makes me excited. And of course, we are most likely going to see a couple of other teaser images as we get closer and closer to the release of Season 7, but of course, I definitely do think that the teaser image that was posted earlier today most likely depicts one of our battle pass skins and in my personal opinion it makes a ton of sense for whatever crazy awesome ice creature or ice king this teaser appears to depict it makes a ton of sense in my mind for it to potentially be either the tier one or maybe even the tier 100 skin of the season seven battle pass then you go ahead and couple that with the really awesome concept image that was done by my good buddy. They look pretty much identical, at least the silhouette of the teaser looks very similar to that of the outline of the Icebreaker skin that you guys can see on screen right now. Now, in addition to the Season 7 teaser that we received earlier today and the Season 7 Battle Pass skin, it most definitely depicts. There are also a ton of other skins I would love to see Epic Games introduce into Fortnite with the Season 7 Battle Pass. The first of which being this super awesome image. As you guys can see, this is the Rudolph skin. It's obviously Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer made into a Fortnite skin. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the way that this skin looks. And it honestly makes a ton of sense because as I previously mentioned to you guys, we will most definitely be receiving some sort of snowy location or a snowy biome in the Fortnite map. Obviously, the Season 7 Battle Pass will most definitely be some sort of winter theme as well. Moving on to a, another Season 7 skin that we will most likely see, this one here is the Polar Team Leader. Of course, this is sort of just a reskin of the Cuddle Team Leader, the Fireworks Team Leader, the Panda Team Leader, and the Spooky Team Leader. It definitely would be a super easy and pretty awesome winter-themed skin for Epic Games to introduce into Fortnite with the upcoming release of Season 7. And to go ahead and end today's video with a final Season 7 battle pass skin i would love to see epic games bring to fortnite this one here is the pine patroller as you guys can see this is a super legit looking skin this has actually gained a decent amount of traction over on reddit a lot of people really seem to like the way that this skin looks and because of that it is very possible that epic games may actually introduce it in to the season seven battle pass on top of that, it also appears to come with its very own back bling being the Christmas Conifer, and it also comes with its very
very own pickaxe or harvesting tool being the blizzard breaker regardless guys there you have it those were a ton of new skins that we may see coming to fortnite with the season 7 battle pass and we actually also took a look at what may potentially be the tier 100 skin of that season 7 battle pass regardless guys i am so excited for the highly anticipated release of season 7 and of course i will be sure to keep you guys up to date with all of the latest and the greatest information as we get closer and closer to the release of season 7 regardless guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new with that out of the way i'll be sure to catch you guys later